Hello once again everyone and welcome back to the Swapper. Now I just forget to record this episode, but for s I don't know, my mic wasn't plugged in properly. So my actual voice recording of this, which consisted of mostly silence as I tried to figure this out, and it's actually this is the actually edited form of this. I actually went for like 15 minutes recording this and getting nothing. Um, well, I managed to do this puzzle pretty quickly-ish. So in the first five-ish minutes, I got figured this, uh, this out from using my help from Potato Hoshi. Um So yeah. Putting the people in the right places and making sure you time it correctly, kind of thing, flipping upside down and moving the character across. Enough, I believe. Yeah, I put the guy in the wrong position there. Um, it's kind of frustrating that I didn't realize my mic wasn't plugged in properly. I thought it was. Um, it looked plugged into me, so, you know. Having to redo this is a bit of a pain, to be honest. But, yeah. Oh, well. So, I'm doing pretty good right now. It's been a okay day, I mean. After the problems of just recording this video out, um, well, not recording, just, just getting this video done, because I'm, I'm beginning to dislike how hard th this game is sometimes, it's like I'm making little progress in the time that I do, so, like like I said, I've heavily edited this, vi this, um, this video this time, because I wanted to make a decent amount of progress, so I was like, alright, um, let's keep, just keep going, and I, I actually took like two breaks to try get where I looked up um began potatoes videos to see how he managed to to do his um to solve these puzzles because I was like oh struggling in it kind of thing and I mess up there again by just killing the guy off um by mo moving the guy too far off of his pad. And that bringing up the border that sort of was in the area he was in, but oh well. well. I think I this is the one that I get it to be correct. I think or. Close enough. I don't know. I think I figured it out by swapping to that guy. Um, putting the guy on the right one. Uh, possibly. Is this one? Swapping, getting the guy to go all the way across. Swap to that guy, swap to that guy, put that guy back in position. Open all the gates, swap, swap, swap. And get the up. You so yeah, been it's been a good day. I, I was working on my FYP now. this morning. I've got I hope we were right that edited. So and I'm gonna go see my FYP to say what he says. I didn't do one thing, which is the collecting of the data thing. I didn't edit that. Because I'm not quite sure about that section, um, how to do that properly, and um, kind of deal. That's the one thing I'm, I was having issues with. So, yeah, here we have got all of them puzzles completed. So I go down to the 66 one. Um, when we do this 66 one this episode. Quite, um, 
challenging at least two of the puzzles. Uh, one I managed to do pretty quickly, as you'll see in a bit. Um, but yeah, I've only done that. We're just editing the analyst section, which was the one you gave me feedback on, rewriting that, making it in paragraphs and stuff. Still have to probably pre proofread all of my shits for that, which is just a uh, boring kind of deal, but I'll get it done. Here we, th this is space and it's silent, and I'm like, when I was recording, no one can hear you sh screaming space, creepy laughter, <laughs> kind of deal, if you get that joke. It's a science joke and a rape joke at the same time. The rape isn't funny. How long have I been going? Six minutes. Oh. <laughs> it's not very often I have to re uh, redo audio. I've done it a couple of times and it's always just weird to me. Re re-recording audio to an episode that I've already recorded because I prefer doing it kind of what I would call live is when I'm playing the game you get the feedback that I'm getting of playing and experience it the first time whereas this is just me going yeah this happened in this episode excuse me I'm, I'm currently drink drinking a beer because after recording this for like an hour ish roughly I need one. You know. It's a pain in the but 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 dot Where? So we we go down to this lower one first. This this is the one that gave me a lot of trouble just figuring it out. Like I said, I went uh, in the end I resorted to going to Potato Orgy. Um because you you have to get both guys on them um buttons which will open that gateway and allow you to um create a guy in that pink area as well so, but I've only got a certain amount of guys with me I knit one cell because we've got we left that one guy there so as you can see with that guy on that one we open that first gate um, and the, sec the second button opens the other gate and takes the purple pink stuff off as you uh, if you can see that honestly when I was l watching potato Orgy, it looked like the top area was all red which is just weird I don't know well, which was his recording software which just made him when made it look like that so this is me just trying to figure it out and I spent a good like 20 minutes just mostly in silence just trying to figure out how to correctly do this so before I went and resorted to going to potato soldier film so I just, I've just left some of it in here so you can see oh yeah this is me figuring out what I needed to do and I thought maybe swapping to that guy that guy and that guy and then putting the game guy there would do it and it didn't work quite where I wanted it to. And then I was trying to get the upside down guy to conjoin into the other guy um, uh, for for a while because I thought oh, that, that might solve it, that puzzle by doing it that way and that didn't work um, and then the way I eventually did it as you'll you'll see is just um a slightly different way of using the upside down guy which I didn't even think about doing. So yeah and I also mentioned uh, me the working on my uh admod stuff and I've actually got a video up on this channel right now. It is just um, a fly through of my ad mod environment. If you wanted to have a look at just what I do for that, that that's basically what I've made with this ship. Like me 
not doing anything on my computer. My screen goes off. Excellent. I'm, I'm hoping, because Potato did six videos on this, I'm taking a bit longer because I'm a bit more stupid than him at solving these puzzles, that I'll finish this series sooner and I can get on to just recording the next series just because this game's so challenging. I mean, I'm liking the challenge, it's good to be challenged by a game every so often, but sometimes it, the, having a challenge game isn't so good for recording when you just want and a good amount of progress to get done so yeah I don't know whether because my next game are probably gonna be on my mechanical which might again not be able to record like Summer Rush 2 I don't know after after see when I finish this game whether it'll record or not if it doesn't record I don't know what game I'm gonna do I've got so many on my record list it's just figuring out which one I want to do more and it's going to be going into longer series instead of these into plays if I don't get to record on Mechanical. Unless, um, a Wolf Among Us episode really comes out, or a Walking Dead episode really comes out in soon ish. I think they do, because I saw an advertisement for the Wolf Among Us, or the picture, um, from. Hotel join. Uh, this the next episode, which is like uh, the Wolf Walk or something like that. But as you can see here, it's uh, I'm swapped to these guys and place these guys in front of me, and then walk backwards and get all of these guys together. Keep moving that guy backwards. Place the guy up top walk them forwards onto the swaps and boom got the, the item I decided to go all the way around to my back and swap and we go out <coughs> this goes man now he's going to be going up the next challenging puzzle. Concentrate some fly, make to match your mind. It is slow. So we have the, the double flip, and it, there's the thing. This was again a bit of a bitch. 
so I'm like, well, we're going to need a guy up there. Uh, then I can go upside down. And then I use... Because it's all red, we can't swap in red, obviously. So I... Because I can keep going backwards whilst leaning against the wall on this one, so I can line these up, these guys up, and I was just trying to figure it out, and I'm like, alright, we can put put a guy up there, and try and figure out how do I can swap through that big red bar, which you can't, uh, I was like, I'm gonna try and do something with the upside down guy, which is actually the way you meant to do it, the swapping off uh, to the uh, an upside down guy, like here, here, you have him walk off. And I was trying, obviously, because there's a red bar there, I can't swap to him in that vicinity. And but I can swap to him in that vicinity there where I'm right, right now. I was just trying to figure out what I needed to do for that. But I just can get there for a while. It's, it's, it's just a matter of timing and trying to do stuff. Just reset. And I did a couple of resets, I think, this, this, for this puzzle. Just trying to figure out what, what was the best way to do this. Saying, oh yeah, I can't swap through this red barrier, as always. I think the good thing about me just redoing this audio is that I'm actually talking more, because, like in the episode, I was silent for minutes at a time, or, or just making groaning noises, like, uh, kind of deal. So yeah, let's talk about Minecraft, shall we? Because that's a I put a, a new episode of Minecraft up today, which is like 47 minutes long, which I didn't realize I was actually gone that long. Basically, because I recorded that over two days, it came out to that length, kind of deal, um, which is just incredible to me. But if you actually watch it, and I highly recommend you go watch it. I mean, bar the end. Um, which fucked up, like, that's how it, my, my Minecraft videos used to fuck up every single clip, <laughs> just that do 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 and I didn't realise this, because I actually don't watch these things through in my editing process unless you count this one, because I'm doing it right now to do re-record re this audio I never I used to do it for the first few, like, when I, was, when I used to, it's just time consuming to just do it, so I usually watch the first few minutes, like, correct the audio, the same will resample all my videos and just go, right, render it out, it's done, I mean, I, so I sometimes spend a bit, a bit more effort depending on the video to just add some caption, sort of funny words and stuff to come up every so often, if I think, oh yeah, that'd be a good thing to add some caption to it. Uh, at that point, I used to do that a lot for The Walking Dead when I first was recording The Walking Dead. We'd watch it all and just add these funny captions to it, just like, yeah, I'm, in, I'm, I'm gonna die, oh shit, this, this, this is fucked up kind of thing. I no longer do that because it, it takes a lot of effort to just do that. It's just a lot, uh, very time consuming. Obviously, I don't have as much time as I would like to just edit my videos properly, perhaps. Um, once I finish doing uni, I might take that, but I usually do, I mean, if you've watched my Minecraft videos, they, they, they take a bit more effort to sort of complete, because it's not just one clip, um, like these usually are, or maybe one or two clips, depending on whether I go to see or whether them program fucks up and crashes or whatever, sometimes it does that or sh 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 well, minimizes itself 
and then maximizes it, and then after maximize it, sometimes that breaks up the clips. But usually it's just one recording that I do for these Let's Play videos. Uh, but the Minecraft stuff, I spend a bit more time <coughs> um, making them um, just because I went out. Like, other than last weekend where I actually made the actual Let's Play type thing where I was just talking about my films for a good amount of time, well, enough time, no, it just made one clip because it was like half an hour. I'm like, oh, I'm talking about all these birds I've done for a mongoose country. That was the last weekend I made like three Minecraft videos. I did like one on the Friday and then the one what the Saturday one on Saturday. No, it was I uploaded upload Saturday, Sunday and Monday. Uh, because I made one like Friday and then Saturday and then Sunday. I just keep killing this guy over here. Me getting more more and more frustrated. Um, but yeah, this this weekend I've just I just covered doing uh, the one over two days, just making my mega, well, the main base is in the center of, um, well, not it's not there in the center, but it's basically it's the main build for the dark fortress kind of um, deal. It, it's meant to be this epic kind of. Um, fort type place I'm gonna be making for it. I mean, it's it's getting there. Like and I went from just having nothing there to just having something that's built up a bit more. I mean, it's not finished yet. I've got several more rooms to fill out, but I've got. I was just last night when I was in bed. I was just thinking about it a lot, and I kind of dreamed about Minecraft. Sometimes I do. Just, just dream about what I'm building. I'm just uh, picture it in my head. I'm like, well, that's a really good idea. I should do that for this bit, and I, and I need to do this, this, and this to it. And that's a good roof idea because I was just trying to think of how to do my roof. So I've got a, a ceiling idea for um, what I'm gonna do for the ceilings of what I've got. The roof. I'm. I think I've got a rough idea what I'm gonna try and do for it and see whether it looks somewhat decent. I don't know yet. Um, see, because it's it's a weird shaped roof, so like I know I've got these towers, the four towers. If you again watch the video, you'll see the four towers. They they've got an easy roof to do because they're gonna be taller than the main build. I want to make them taller than the main build and then do the circular type roof that you usually see on castles, that's quite easy to do. But the main castle itself has just got a weird ish shape to it. Well, I like the shape because it's, it's different, it's not just a flat thing, which some people in Minecraft just build castles with flatness to it, and I don't like that. It did, definitely wouldn't have, in my mind, it wouldn't have quite, I mean, worked for me. Like with what I've done with the walls, how they sort of they pop out and have different layers to them, and rather than just being plain flat walls, they go in and out. So yeah, obviously I went and cheated. There, I, just, I didn't even pay attention to me completing that puzzle. There, but I come over here now. This is the one I don't cheat on because I can do it like straight away. And I'm like, oh yeah, I've got that memory terminal over there. Which I haven't done. Yeah. And I'm like, alright, what do I have to do here? I'm like, oh yeah, there's that blue stuff there. We need a guy over there which turns off that one. And then I'm like, alright, what do I do? We do make a guy go upside down over here. There's a guy there. 
and then because we can swap in blue, I swap to get that guy over there. And there's a guy over here, and then swap back. And boom! First puzzle I solved pretty quickly <laughs> for once. But yeah, I, I've got some plans of what I'm gonna do. It's just at the moment it's get it is getting the resources, which is consists of mainly I need a lot of leather. I got oh today I was gathered, gathered a bit and got a bit more leather stuff which is good. I actually read this in the episode but I'm not gonna read it now just because I'm talking about something else. But if you want to read that guys go ahead post the video whatever. But yeah it's, it's just leather for leather armor and bookcases that I need so I'm like when I went on the forums I'm like uh, suggestions bookcases in the shop because it, it, in season 8 they they had these really awesome shirts which sold everything well not not everything but pretty much all the every, they had dedicated shops and there was several of them which was just awesome I died there trying to get to the teleporter and you could buy um, bookshelves from one of the books as well as just books and leather and stuff, which was just very useful. Um, and I'm like, well, they don't have that. They don't have a shop that sells bookshelves this time around. Then I particularly, because um, I know I'm going to do a study and add some books to the to the king's bedroom, well, bookshelves to the king's bedroom. I, I need a, a fair amount of books and getting that amount of leather, as well as needing leather for level armor and other stuff is that so